टुडे आई विल डील विथ ए वेरी सिंपल थ्योरी बट इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर केमिकल काइनेटिक्स दैट इज कोलिजन थ्योरी बिफोर आई स्टार्ट द डेरिवेशन आई मस्ट कन्फेस दैट टूडेज लेक्चर is based on four important books and because you know if you go through the literature you will find different derivations of this collision theory but i am using this two important books for simple derivation and because you know that collision is based on collision theory is based on different types of molecular collision so you must know something about the types of the molecular collision you must know something about the maxwell distribution of molecular velocity so i have referred this atkins book for the types of the collisions and i am also using this famous book of physical chemistry g m barrow because uh, you are not aware of actual meaning of collision number or collision rate or collision frequency so i have taken some of the numerical problems from that book g m barrow and ultimately i have used this book chemical kinetics by ledler for simple derivation and as i already told you that this year three great scientists awarded nobel prize for quantum dots and for the last many years i have been referring this great book physical chemistry by alberti and mongi bawendi and silve so some of part of my derivation is also based on this great book so you must refer this book so you will have a clear cut idea about the different types of collisions and molecular collisions glancing collisions that's it so before i start the derivation you must know what is the necessity of collision theory because everybody is well aware of this very famous theory of reaction rate and i have already discussed with you the arrhenius equation and i have already discussed with you that this is the starting point of theories of the reaction rate but in spite of significant application of this arrhenius theory or arrhenius equation there is a great problem about this frequency factor or pre exponential factors and actually arrhenius could not explain the actual meaning of that frequency factors therefore two great scientists one is max strauch basically he is a german scientist and separately he published a paper in this journal journal of anorgan chemistry in 1960 and Maclis is a British scientist, and in 1918 he also published a paper in Journal of Chemical Society in 1918. They have done the work separately, but their basic thinking was that how to solve the problem of this pre-equilibrium, uh, pre-exponential factor or that frequency factor. so the genesis of the collision theory is that it is very simple that that 
frequency factor can be solved with the help of two great concept one is kinetic theory of gases and second is the statistical mechanics now if i talk about this postulates of the collision theory it is they assume that there must be some collisions if i am talking about this different types of molecules is simple thing that there must be some collision this collide with this this collide with this this collide with this this different types of collision you know different types of collision number of collision this type of this thing so they considered that the molecules may be oxygen or nitrogen may be identical or this similar type of molecules but that is just like a hard sphere hard sphere and there is the interaction among this molecules so that is called sometimes there is no interaction among the molecules therefore the intermolecular potential is zero and obvious it is a collision theory so there must be some collisions i am saying that all collisions are not effective so we have to consider that which collision is most reactive and responsible for the chemical reaction or the formation of the product another point is very important i also discussed with you that you know that there are different types of energy and population different types of energy levels like that i can write that e is equal to 0 e 2e like that but there must be some one threshold point is there and if i just write like that i have already discussed these things so every molecules has to overcome this amount of energy so how do we calculate this type of relative translational kinetic energy so for collisions it is essential that the relative translational kinetic energy or whatever the energy is must exceed that threshold energy it must exceed that threshold that fraction is requires and therefore maxwell boltzmann distribution of molecular velocities is maintained during that chemical reactions and with the help of maxwell boltzmann distribution of molecular velocities one can calculate that fraction of molecules having energy greater than the threshold energy so they, therefore that part is very important and if you want to know that what is actually that type of threshold energy i can or what is that activation energy that is actually threshold energy or energy required for that chemical reactions minus energy actually possesses by that molecules so how do i derive all these things and not only collisions are responsible suppose a is collide with b yes collision is responsible but there are certain orientation is also required that means 
proper orientation. So in this collision theory, we will also study that what type of, why such type of orientation is required and how do we overcome such type of the collisions. And of course, rate is proportional to the rate of the collisions. That is also important. So very simply, I will, there are two type of derivations available in the literature. If you want to derive complete collision theory, you have to refer to the book of Barrow, Physical Chemistry Barrow, with the help of Maxwell Boltzmann distribution of molecular velocity. But today, what I am doing, I will explain first the basic concept of the collision theory for identical molecules, which is very simple. It is again, it is an assumption like oxygen or nitrogen molecules. So, and if time permits, I will also discuss the different type of molecules. There is a slight difference between identical molecule and different molecule. Now, you just you see carefully. In Arnia situation, generally, we do the simple calculation. But here, what we will do? We will determine the rate of reaction. In normal cases, what we do? Just rate, it depends upon the A and A for similar molecules. Here is A and B for the dissimilar molecules. But if it is a collision theory, so the rate should be equal to as because we are talking, just listen very carefully because this is the important point. In this collision theory, according to the Max Strauss and W. C. Mac Lewis, that rate should be equal to number of collisions. Now I am not defining is it number of collisions or is it collision frequency, is it collision density, is it collision rate. You just think that there are two similar molecules, there must be some collision. So you have to know this number of collisions. Suppose, suppose I am just telling it is a Z. Number of collisions between two identical molecules per unit time, per second, per unit volume. Okay? This is the one factor. I must know the collision. What was the second point? That fraction of molecules having energy greater than the threshold energy. Again, I am repeating. Fraction of molecules, suppose that fraction is N dash. N dash. So, I have to calculate first is that collision. Second, fraction of molecules having energy greater than the suppose N dash. <coughs> there are two problems. First problem is that Z. So, for that I must know the types of the collision. Now, I am coming to that point, types of the collision. And second, N dash. Thanks to the statistical mechanics. You all know statistical mechanics. Maxwell Boltzmann statistics. That is N dash is equal to actual number of molecules exponential minus E by R. R. So, N dash means number of molecules having energy greater than the threshold energy. N0 is total number of molecules. 60 students are sitting here. 50 students are promoted into second semester. So, I have to calculate the fraction of molecules. So, in place of I 
I can write here n0 exponential e e by r. So this n0 n0 cancel. So what I will get rate is equal to z e minus r. Okay. That is the story of Max Strauss and Maclis. But as I told you in my introductory part that yes collisions are responsible but proper orientation is also important. So therefore in 1920 that collision theory is modified and they just introduced in order to know that type of probability or orientation. So that one factor you can call is a P or rho like that. So it must be related with one factor. So that is called the modified collision theory. Okay. Now you can very easily realize that in collision theory rate is equal to Z multiplied by this these things. So we need the help of kinetic theory of gases in order to know what is exactly z. You follow my point? Okay. Now before I just is the imagination, just I, I will explain everything that I am taking a cylinder. So, but before that I must tell you the types of collision. So, I am just talking about a collision, this type of, again I am saying I am talking about the similar molecule, maybe this part one part is similar. So, types of molecular collision, again this for the knowledge, when you derive the collision theory, you need not to be determine the types of the collision. Okay? But for the student, you must know what type of collisions are possible. Agreed? So basically, a very simple question is that, that there is a, both the A are approaches in the, this direction. And the suppose relative speed is mu. Relative speed is mu. So the total relative speed is zero here. Sometimes you can bar like that. It is zero. Another case. Same molecule, sometimes it is a head on collision or clancing collision. So, this approach is to this, and this approach is to this. Mu, this is 2 mu. That is also not very effective. But if you have you seen the billiard boards, billiard, so just suppose there is a red ball and that is a white ball and that red ball hits that white balls and ultimately sometimes what happened that white ball moves in one direction and this red ball in another. This is a glancing type of the collision. Similarly, I am not saying that these are not collisions. Yes, 
but these are not effective collision. In one case, head on collision, you have seen that this is equal to 0. In one case, this is equal to u. Another is thing, just like a billiard ball, you just consider this is right angle to this. And I am not deriving from where I get these values, but you must know that what is that relative speed. So, and same, same molecules. Today I am using de deliberately the, the same type of identical molecule, hard sphere, hard sphere. So, here relative speed that is a proper derivation, but I will not derive it, but the relative speed I can call it under root of 2 and because it is a resulting this direction, this direction, this part, the resulting. So, what is the summary that out of this three type of collisions, number third is the most effective collision. Because if we are talking about the collision, so I must know the, I must know the types of the collision and I must know that the distance travelled by the molecules after the collision, that is called the mean free path. I must know the distance between this molecule and this molecule. I must know the speed. I must know the number, it is a symbol. In normal system, there may be large number of molecules. Sometimes it is called the number density. But here I am just, just giving you example. So, what is summary? That this, yes, there are certain derivations, but I am not doing all such type of derivation. I just tell you. Now I am, I will explain that how collision theory is derived and what is our objective to know the exact value of z, exact value of the z with the help of, these are all based on the kinetic theory of gases. Okay. So now I am coming to Yes. Suppose you know that a molecule A and diameter you know. Suppose diameter is D. Okay. And I am just considering a, a cylinder. And maybe this is mobile and this is stationary. What is my objective? My objective is to determine various important facts. First fact is that what happens when collision occurs and suppose the distance between this to this again it is imagination is mu meter distance between this to this and time required to travel from A to this A is 1 per part. That is speed, that is speed. So, first point is that and you know that this is diameter, collision, cross section. So, if you know the diameter, you can easily calculate the cross section area, cross section area. You all know that like the pi r square, if the r is the radius. So, here is pi 
d square everything follow effective collision area and suppose suppose total number of molecules again just you imagine total number of students present a particular area is 60 so in order to avoid a confusion between the avogadro number and this total number of molecules i am just using you can use the n star also it is not avogadro number or you can just like in a it is up to you but here i am just showing only two molecules but there may be n star or sometimes it is called the number density number density density population volume avogadro number multiplied by this things so first what we are doing i am just doing the calculation of the cross section area that is pi d square and if the length is new meter so naturally volume will be pi even this if the volume is like that so it is volume but my objective is that i have to calculate the actual total number of molecules in the cylinder number of molecules in the cylinder so it is first we calculate the cross section area then you calculate the volume then you calculate the total number of molecules in the cylinder if i multiply it with this or even you can use in place of this n star also you can use it is up to you different books are giving different types of things okay. now if it is a dissimilar molecule maybe a and b so we can a collision collision cross section so da plus bb also that is also possible so it is a dissimilar molecule but i am using the similar similar type of molecule and it will it will it will collide this it will collide this type of the things then there is a formula that is called the mean free path and mean free path is actually you i think studied in your bsc classes or in the school level two collisions distance travel by the molecules after the collision so we must know the actual distance divided by this so pi this is called mean free path sometimes in lambda or like that mean free path so this may be cancel but in this previous slides i have shown you the different types of the collision and the relative speed is actually under root of the relative speed we can see so therefore we must write here divided by one divided by two pi pi two because this two new new cancel d square and okay. in star is the example of uh, the for actual formula of mean free path. But again, our our objective is not to know the mean free path. Our objective is to know the value of z. Value of z. Now again, here confusion starts. According to kinetic theory of gases, number of collisions per unit time is called. what i am telling you
नंबर ऑफ कोलिजन लिसन वेरी केयरफुली जस्ट यू लिसन केयरफुली नंबर ऑफ कोलिजन पार यूनिट टाइम इज कॉल्ड कोलिजन फ्रीक्वेंसी नॉट कोलिजन रेट और कोलिजन डेंसिटी एंड दैट कैन बी डिनोटेड एज इन सम बुक्स लाइक बैरो और इवन बुक ऑफ दिस बाउंडी सो इन सम केसेस इट इज रिटर्न लाइक दैट Z1 and in some books it is written like Z11. In some Bavandi book it is Z12, and I think in Lead Light it is simply Z. So this is not. This is actually number of collisions per unit time is actually collision frequency. In some books maybe it is collision frequency is actually frequency. This is the simplest derivation. So, collision frequency is equal to under root of two pi d square n star or whatever it is. This is actually collision. frequency that means every molecules every molecule has a collision frequencies like that but suppose there are n star number of molecules again you just listen carefully every molecule has a this type of collision frequency and there are n star type of the molecules so what i have to do i have to multiply this whole equation with n star or n activated you whatever you like so what i am getting n half uh, this under root of 2 mu why i am taking this uh, under root of 2 mu because this is the most effective collision so this is relative speed because i must know the speed what is d it is collision diameter what is this n is the number density or actual number of molecules okay then again this is not the ultimate point ultimate point is that i have to calculate collision density or collision rate which is number of collisions occur per unit time Per unit volume, that is the ultimate objective of collision theory. So for that, very simple. Because if you take a carom board, just it strikes here and then again strike here. So in order to avoid this thing, just we we calculate we measure only one type of the collision. But it may be suppose this bound here and again it will collide. so this if i write half so that means that means that i am not counting both the collisions so therefore the final equation final equation that is z z2 or it is actually in in the book of bavendi it is written collision density or in some books it is actually collision rate and that is equal to half Why half? Because we just measure only one. Under root of 
टू न्यू विल एट स्पीड पाई स्क्वायर डी एन स्टार स्क्वायर दिस इज द फाइनल ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ आवर थिंग दैट मीन्स इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू डिराइव ऑल दिस थिंग्स वॉट यू डू यू जस्ट यूज द फर्स्ट फॉर्मूला वॉट इज दैट फर्स्ट फॉर्मूला रेड इज इक्वल टू टोटल नंबर ऑफ पोलिजन्स पर यूनिट टाइम पर यूनिट वॉल्यूम मल्टीप्लाइड बाई फ्रैक्शन ऑफ मॉलिकूल हैविंग एनर्जी ग्रेटर देन द थ्रेस ऑल्ड एनर्जी सो यू कैन डायरेक्टली यूज दिस वैल्यू ऑफ जेड फ्रॉम हियर बट आई एम ए टीचर सो आई एम जस्ट एक्सप्लेनिंग फ्रॉम वेयर आई गेट दिस टाइप ऑफ वैल्यू बट वन पॉइंट इज ऑल्सो यू आर थिंकिंग दैट वॉट मस्ट बी द इम्पैक्ट फैक्टर दैट इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट देर मस्ट बी सम you have seen several accident in the road in sometimes you find that there is a tremendous damages in this car right so you must know the impact parameter is also important impact parameter so i am just uh, showing one impact parameters this is types of the collision now impact parameters how can i write the impact parameter again it is a, it is also available in the most of the books suppose i am again it is the imagination also that here i am using red color a okay and green color b i am just showing the impact impact parameter and it is stationary not moving and it is moving so it will come here so a so line center you know this 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 center this actually This center, you can call it dot 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 dot. You know, we are this is imaginary, imaginary plane. Again, you have seen this all these things, and these actually B, which is called the impact parameters, impact parameter, which is also very important. because it depends upon this e threshold etc everything is depends upon this things energy of activation critical energy so impact is and this is the you know that the line of line of center so again see there is resulting velocity is like that so now i will just finally i'll derive this equation first that rate is equal to z e by r in the molecules per cc per second like that and now we know the value of the z thus in order to clear the concept of whether i am right or wrong I, what i am taking i am taking two two terminology one is collision frequency and second collision rate isn't it one is z1 another is z2 just i am showing you two numerical problem so that you can understand the difference between z1 and z2 scientifically one is number again i am saying many times number of effective collision between two molecules per unit time that is 
collision frequency and effective collision per unit time per unit volume that is collision rate so we have to use collision rate so i am showing that some two example i am taking one from the bavendi book one from the gm bag that same thing i have already told you that this is actually mean free path you know this thing mean free path and this is actual mean free path it should not r actually i am using here d everywhere d so it must be half pi d square d is the collision diameter and this is a final things now the two numerical problem i will show you so that you can understand these things so again for the student you can call it half pi d square this relative speed in total number of molecules is n star so this is our final equation don't remember always remember this thing half under root of 2 pi d square now the distinction between z1 and z2 i can show you so this is the most important example why i am showing this example just to differentiate between z1 and z2 and i have taken this numerical problem if you have that book you can see it by gm baro page number 735 what they are taking they are taking a nitrogen so in order to calculate z we need total number of molecules number 1 number 2 the collision diameter of that molecule number 3 the speed if you know the speed if you know the number of molecules present per unit time and if you know the collision diameter you can calculate z1 and z2 so here you see the total number of molecules is 2.43 10 to the power 25 meter minus m minus u3 total number of molecules just you imagine i am just showing you one a and a but in actual meaning see the molecules now the speed of that collision is 475 meter per second you just imagine and the diameter is i think 374 picometer nanometer picometer 374 picometer now on the basis of this formula when you calculate on the basis of this formula when you calculate this thing now you can understand that mean free path is entirely different it is very small 6.62 tend to the power minus 8 meter and so collision frequency is not responsible for the collision because it is only 7 into 10 to the power 9 collision per second but number of collisions per unit volume and per unit second is 8.72 into 10 to the power 34 you see can you imagine 8.72 10 to the power 34 so i have taken this example from baro similarly i am taking the example from this book of the bavendi just to student to learn these things physical chemistry selve albert and bavendi again page number 629 is the old edition when i went to canada i purchased this book from the saint xavier university antigone long back so that so you can see the new book also i do not know the page number but i have taken from this book again that is nitrogen it is oxygen okay but again you see the number of molecules per unit volume is 2.4 into 10 to the 25 the collision diameter is 3.61 into 10 to the actually minus 10 and speed is 440 m inverse 1 so collision frequency you see 6.24 to the power 9 very less whereas collision density again this terminology from bavendi collision rate from baro or some chemical kinetics alberti because therefore i am just showing you that 
you will get different types of terminology but i am using very simple derivation for the common student if you want to learn more about the collision theory there are large number of book but this is the simplest derivation so now the last part is the final derivation let me derive it last derivation okay so suppose i am taking simple molecule today not complicated a plus a is equal to product we will take only 2 minutes so rate is equal to normal cases you know it is a bimolecular reaction k a a i am today i am solving the again and again i am repeating identical molecule not this similar molecule so derivation is this similar molecule is slightly different so i am using very simple for the examination point of view and what is our second case rate is equal to z to exponential minus e by rt is in is is it clear for common students they those student who want to avoid all these types of molecular collision impact parameters forget everything you can start from here you follow my point you can start from here just this and you have to claim the the value of z what is that so rate is equal to half under root of 2 new relative speed pi d square n a n a do you agree with me yes now again everything is clear but how can i calculate this mean speed any idea this is 8 kbt pi m for similar molecules and for this similar molecule 8 kbt pi mu mu is the reduced mass mu is equal to reduced mass you know reduced mass 1 by 1 by mu is equal to 1 upon ma because similar dissimilar molecule but today i'll i'll solve only similar molecule ma and ma agreed so what i have to do I have to substitute the value of this mean speed to our equation. So just half under root of two in place of mu h k is the Boltzmann constant. Not this. I am not writing the unit and other thing. A B T pi m. You follow? Just I substitute pi d square n a and n b and n b. I can write like that d n a of b like that. Collision diameter, number density. So that I can also write that this is n a actually depends upon the n a and n b. So just you imagine. So two under root eight under root sixteen two into eight sixteen sixteen four four eight into two sixteen sixteen under root four divided by half. Very good. Two d square. Now if I just This is pi, 
this is pi if i just want to include in this so it will be pi square i can write like that pi square kbt pi m this pi pi cancel pi square h pi kbt divided by m any doubt of course this is but i am doing the first z then i will substitute the value of this is not actually i must say the z rate rate should be this must be included so this is actually just z not the rate rate l so it is clear 2 d square 8 pi kbt m and n a n a so what is this this is the actual value of z2 okay now i will write the rate now i will write the rate how i'll write the rate rate is equal to z value is z is 2 d square collision diameter under root of 8 pi oh, sorry again why 8 No, no, no. It is. Oh, we have already solved it now. So pi kt, not h. Sorry, 8 into 60. We have already solved. Don't write the h. It is only pi. Pi. I'm sorry. Pi kvt n n a n b n a n a. Exponential minus e by r. So molecules per centimeter per second. And in another case, rate is equal to normal cases. K observed n a and n b. So, because as I told you in my first class when I teach. the theory of reaction rate always reaction rate should be starting from k okay k okay. so plus plus so this na in a cancel so k observed Final equation of collision theory, k observed is equal to 2 d square pi k t. Pi k is again Boltzmann constant. T divided by m exponential minus e by e is energy of activation R t, and it is molecules. But uh, if I molecules to mole like you know that when a mole dm cube per second if i convert it into rate constant molecule to mole so you can multiplied with this avogadro number so it will convert it into molecule to mole that is also possible otherwise you can directly write p observe this thing and i am deriving this derivation from chemical kinetics by k j ledler simplest derivation k j ledler for similar molecules now the last question what was the first question the actual meaning of frequency factor derived by the arrhenius equation so what is the final final form is that 
Arnias equation is equal to K of Z is equal to A which is great problem for us A E minus E by R. This is Arnias equation and this is collision equation for similar molecule. You can, this is Avogadro number, this is Avogadro number. If you, you can see. So, in one case K of Z is equal to A E by R T. In second case collision K of Z is equal to this. So, what is common here? This, 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 this. So, therefore, A is equal to, I must write in red color, which was not explained by the Arnia, but very simply with the help of simple collision theory, kinetic theory of gases and maxwell Boltzmann distribution of molecular velocity is 2 d square under root of pi kvt divided by m. So, this is the explanation of frequency factor is nothing, it is also a fraction of th the things by which you can calculate the actual fraction which can be converted into these things. But unfortunately, when Max Strauss and MacLeish, basically MacLeish studied the simple reaction, hydrogen plus I2 reaction. Yeah, I think hydrogen iodide dissociate into H2 plus I2, twice H2 So, there is a very good agreement, good agreement. Between theoretical value and experimental value, good agreement means the frequency factor determined by this method is the same. But what happened? Last point that when what is the demerits of the collision theory? Demerits of the collision theory. Just one last slide. You follow this. You follow these things. The actual meaning of D, A and this thing. again it is for similar molecule. It is for the similar identical molecule. For this similar molecule, it is slightly different. So the last slide is that yes. Now, as I told you that for first case hydrogen iodide, the values are very good, but when they studied other type of reactions, gas phase reaction, you, what is the importance of the collision theory? That is, there must be a close agreement between theoretical value and experimental value. And main problem was main culprit is A. Main culprit is A. So, we must know the value of A. So, just I am again I am taking this example from the book of the Atkins. So, the you see. There are many reactions, but here A determined by the experimental method using that formula is equal to 9.4 into 10 to the power 9. Okay, and theoretical value is 5.9 into 10 to the power 10. Is it equal? No. Similarly, when they studied large number of reactions, they are not getting a close agreement between theoretical value and experimental value. That means there must be some other factors rather than the collisions. 
and that factor is orientation proper orientation and the probability so in my next class i will discuss the modified collision theory modified collision theory where we will introduce the steric factor and of course the collision theory for different molecules suppose a and b where we have to consider the reduced mass so this is the some example and for that you see that everywhere there must be some steric factor so therefore the formula is exactly same this is the final formula of the collision theory okay so just because we are not getting the similar value so we have to introduce certain factor and that factor is steric factor you see here everywhere all the very less 0.16 4.8 1.7 into the power minus 3, but proper orientation is required. Thank you very much.